my desire is to bring astronomical events and objects down into your personal lived-in space. First, the sun and moon space. And the sun and moon space, this is a space that has the very tall basalt black triangle within which is the image stone, which is a solid stone going all the way through that is white marble. There are many events that happen each day, some twice a day. Some things that happen once a year or twice a year um, centered on the solstice or one of the solstices. It's a little bit like a camera scura, and this is in fact that, because we've made that tunnel probably the longest <laughs> refractor telescope that there is. You know, so you're looking up this tunnel, which is in fact a telescope, and you walk through the telescope. And then proceeding up, you see this circle and it becomes larger. This is obviously the space through which alignments pass that go down and illuminate the sun and moon chamber. But then you round over and it begins to keyhole and you go off the center line of the circle and suddenly you realize that this is becoming an ellipse. The importance of doing this at Roden Crater in terms of making events that mark our time here is largely because these events form us. That is, moods change with cycles of the moon. They certainly change with the seasons. They change with the weather, which has a lot to do with sunspots and all that we see around us. I am marking these things that have to do with our sensing the sky, are living in the sky. My thought there is that it's important that you go alone, almost as though you're coming to a ruin, and you discover these things yourself. You, you go through it, and these things are your discovery. So that's what I'd like to impart, if I can, and it's, it's beginning to unfold. I'm learning how to do this. I'm getting some command of this medium of perception worked with the material called light. <laughs> 